I'll give you a very short uh, case study of how we did uh, uh, from R&D, from private R&D to open API. So how did, we, how, how did all this start? So we tried to look at the, uh, the user's life cycle, at the consumption life cycle, and try to uh, look, look for the stages. So uh, every customer trying to buy something on the internet, trying to consume something, so he passed through all these stages. Uh, this is search stage, and uh, players like Google, Bing, so they all just, uh, they work for the satisfaction of the users for this uh, stage. Then there is a heap of e-commerce sites, online services, so everybody who wants to buy something, he will be able to do it. So it's easy to find, and uh, it's easy to buy, but what about, about decision making, what about choosing? So we think but that the future is here, so the customers would move from the customer's attention, will move from searching, will move from buying to decision making, to choosing. So, <coughs> sorry, <coughs> about a year ago, Business Insider published an article, uh, 10 start startup trends uh, that will be huge in 212. So, number one trend was decision. The statement was very simple. If there is 27 millions of pieces of content shared online, so you have to need an instrument to navigate through it. So what we think, huh? Doesn't work? Oh. <laughs> no? Better is okay? Yes, human clicker. Yeah, okay. So decision is king. Next, please. <laughs> <laughs> so let's, uh, let's discuss how do we choose in general in Internet. The point uh, that choosing hasn't been changed in the Internet since Google and Yahoo. Yes, okay, it's now Facebook. So what we do? We can take friends' advice. It's Facebook, instant messenger, stuff like that. We can search through Google. We use catalogs and filters. We use ratings, uh, reviews and all the stuff like that. But it's all not personal. I can't trust it. I don't know all these people. Even my friends, they're different people. <coughs> Search catalogs, there are no humans there. I don't see them. Ratings, so there are some anonymous uh, users who made some rates, I don't know them. Reviews, just the same. So, please next. What we have? We have too much stuff to choose, and we have too many different people to listen to, just to make advices. So how to deal with this? Next, yeah. So to cope with all this entropy, we have to move from non-personalized sources of, of information to personal recommendations, to the stuff which knows myself, which takes into, into account my tastes, my likes, my personality, and stuff like that. Please, next. Oh. Yeah, and psychologically speaking, so we have to move from regret to satisfaction as the end of uh, uh, making cycle, of uh, decision making cycle. So to, um, just to show, it, to show it how, how it works, I'll show you one picture, this next. So this is the user profile from the recommendation system on movies. It's actually my user profile. Here you can see the average rates uh, which user puts to the, uh, which user rates the movies which is, have been seen. Uh, for a long period of time. So I started using service in 208 and currently it's uh, 212 <coughs> and that's what we call happiness. This is the uh, dynamics of the average rates and this is what we want for the every user in our service. So from the business point of view, what is recommendations? Personal recommendations are successful user experience, growing user loyalty, loyalty and upsales. Uh, here are the main players uh, which use uh, largest uh, internet services, international services, which use recommendation system. Number one, Netflix. It's the largest uh, show and movie streaming service. Uh, gaining about 60-70% of the revenue from the recommendations. 
Pandora and Last FM all about music, so it's uh, service, music services with a uh, large heap of recommendations inside it. And Amazon.com, e-commerce, just about different technology, but again, it's personal recommendations. And uh, this is uh, our service in Hanat. So we did another way. So we started building a uh, user portal, uh, multi-category portal uh, based on recommendations. So currently we have recommendations on movies, books, games, and uh, music, which are coming soon. So that's what, how we did just this year, remembering that forecast from a business insider. So we grew, uh, we're growing nine times faster than the entertainment segment in Russia. Uh, we grew from uh, 35K uh, UDV in uh, August uh, 211 to more than uh, 360,000 uh, UDV just uh, in November. And, uh, okay, yeah, <laughs> next. So how does it work? Uh, inside all this uh, technique lays the collaborative filtering. Uh, what does it mean? It's very simple. Number one, collect the user ratings, user likes, uh, answers from the surveys, different surveys, navigation patterns, and so. Then select a group of users <coughs> which have something in common, which are familiar to, which are similar to, a per, to a per particular users, and then make forecasts relying on that group of people. So there's a scheme, how it works, users, big data of user rates, it's uh, millions of user rates and uh, different navigations, patterns. Then there's a black box which provides the recommendations which do all the calculations and all the mathematics inside. And then there is a ser service which is provided to users, personal recommendations, forecasts, like-minded persons, navigation and stuff. So inside the black box, what's next? Inside the black box, there are two different types of technologies. Number one is user-based. It is used by Netflix, uh, Pandora, and stuff. So it uses, it is based on the metrics item to users, uh, meaning user rates, similar sig signals, and it can provide most precious personal recommendations based, based on user tastes. It also provides forecasts, uh, like monitors, and uh, different rating system, different ratings. The other part of uh, collaborative filtering is item-based. It's very, uh, it's very popular among e-commerce sites. So it's uh, Amazon, all different e-commerce uh, shops and stuff. So it is based on metrics, item to item. Uh, it analyzes shopping bags, navigation patterns, and can provide frequent bot together. So which items which were bought together with this. Uh, it can provide uh, similar objects and uh, some average ratings. So we in Menhanet, we try to take best out of all these uh, two kinds. So we take user-based and we also add uh, value, from, uh, value from the item-based technology. How we did, so how did it start it? So it started about four years ago. Uh, no, I'm not scared. It started six years ago, and it took four years to make all that uh, wise mathematics. So the uh, R&D stage took us four years. Then we moved. Then we, about two years ago, uh, we completely redesigned uh, the product, the whole product. We developed uh, user-centric uh, B2C multi-category portal, and we started growing. So that graphics from the beginning, you see. That's what begin after our complete redesign of the product. And in the middle of this year, we understood that uh, we, move, we should move forward, so we should uh, do something, something more. And we started developing uh, the B2B uh, recommendation platform. So we started developing the API. As you see before, yes, it, it took us too, too long time. So is it possible to, to move faster? No, no. <laughs> Is it possible to move faster and to, to do all that recommendation stuff in house? So uh, this year uh, we made, uh, uh, we made uh, independent auditing 
and that's are the results of this of uh, this auditing. So it takes three, uh, it takes about nine months to do some ba basic algorithms uh, of the recommendations, then about three years of tuning, making advanced algorithms to reach uh, the precious level level of uh, the precious level of uh, recommendations, and budget about uh, two millions. So what we have now. Uh, in September, we have uh, developed the first uh, group of uh, API. Currently, we use it for in-house mobile apps, and uh, we look forward uh, to have customer implementations and in 2013, so the next year. That's actually everything I want to tell you. That's all. Thank you. Partners, welcome. <laughs> Any questions? <laughs>